Hey guys, Ashley Anderson here. Today we're going to talk about how to plan for an entire semester of nursing school at once. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? I know I am because I absolutely love planning. This is super duper fun to me. So let's dive into it and I'll show you guys how to plan for the entire semester. <laughs> trying to figure out how to plan for nursing school is overwhelming. There are so many things that you have to plan for. It feels like this massive mountain and you're just like this little baby at the bottom of it and you've got to get to the top. But how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So we're going to break this down into bite-sized pieces so you can plan for the entire semester at one setting get it done, be done with it, and then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the semester. So I'm gonna flip the camera, we'll check out my planner, and I'll walk you guys through this process. So you're gonna need a few things before we get started. One, you're gonna need your syllabus or your course calendar or however um, that your school sets that stuff up for you guys so you know when things are due. You're gonna need that. If you don't have everything but you wanna go ahead and get a jump start on planning, you absolutely can do that. Actually, I don't have everything I need right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and plan for the bulk of it just so that's less that I have to do later. For example, I have uh, my clinical schedule. I don't have my clinical schedule, actually. I have everything except for my clinical schedule, but I can go ahead and get as much done now, and then that way I can come back to it later. But if you wanna wait until you have everything, you absolutely can, and then you're only sitting down doing this one time, you don't have to come back to it. So what I have is my, um, actually, wait a second, let's talk about a little situation I have going on here. One, I was meal prepping earlier and slammed the knife right down over top of my nail and split my nail, so I got a bandaid on. Two, school starts back, and I've got to get these nails off. So that's why my fingernails look like crap. So don't judge me. It just happens. This is real life. We can't wait for perfection. We got to get we gotta get to planning, people. So get all your supplies. So I have my calendar here. Um, I have part of my clinical schedule. These are for ER, home health, and hospice. And the sticky notes that I have on here are covering up other students' names or personal private information, whatever, that I don't want to be on YouTube. And then I also have an email from my clinical instructor that has some important dates that I need to put in there as well. And I just covered up some information that I don't need to show here on YouTube. Again, I have actually have another nursing class too that I don't have the calendar for yet. So I don't even have a fraction of everything that I need, but that's okay because I want to get as much done now as I possibly can. And then I'll come back later and add as I go. So Here's how my little process works. I am a happy planner, babe. Love the happy planner. You can use whatever planner you want. You can um, have a digital planner if that's your thing. You can have a paper planner if you like paper planning. It doesn't matter, truly. Quick disclaimer though, planning is a hobby of mine. It's something that actually helps me kind of decompress from nursing school, even though I'm sitting here planning for nursing school. But I use a lot of stickers and you don't have to do that whatsoever. So when I open this planner up and you're watching this and you're like, holy crap, what is she doing? I am not doing all that. You don't have to whatsoever. You can just use a pen and a planner and everything will work out just great. You can do um, highlighters and color code. There's all kinds of ways to go about it. So this is just the way that I do it because on the weekends I like diving into my planners. It, it kind of, it's my escape. I don't watch TV. I don't do anything like that. So this is my escape. So when you see this thing, just know ahead of time, you do not have to use stickers to plan like I do, but I'm gonna show you my process anyways. So there are a couple of ways that you can go about this. You can start with one class and either plan the entire semester out with that one class and then come back and do another class depending on however many classes you have. You can do uh, maybe your nursing class, plan the entire semester, then come back through and plan out your clinical schedule for the entire semester. That's totally fine. Or you can plan an entire month with every class, clinical, whatever it is, and then move on to the next month. Um, that's actually how I usually do it, is I do one month at a time. So here's an example of what my month looks like when I do my pre-planning. I do pre-plan, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. This right here, my friends, these discs, is exactly why I love the Happy Planner, because I can customize this whole entire thing. So. Um, if you're looking for a planner that could really, really suit your needs in nursing school, I definitely recommend the Happy Planner because of the customization. Like, for example, let's say I need to make a to-do list, and in the planners that are um, kind of the coil-bound, they're starting to come out with stuff now though, where you can add things to them, but there's not a whole lot of things. But with the Happy Planner, there's inserts, and I can just pop 
an insert in there. I can take something out. And so I absolutely love the customization of this. All right, so I use these little sticky notes and I will just kind of rip them in half and take my, my course calendar and I will start to document everything into here. And I do it on sticky notes first because I like to organize things in the day. Does that make sense? It's so confusing. Let me give you an example to help you understand what the heck I'm talking about. So um, let's look at my this part of my calendar. So February the 4th, we have class from 1030 to 1120, or an exam, I'm sorry, our endocrine exam from 1030 to 1120. And then I have class that we're covering a whole different topic. So when I put these into my planner, I want that exam to be the very top of the list. And then below that, I'll have class and what we're covering in class and class times and that kind of thing. And this is just a way that I like to organize things. It's kind of like what we have first, what we have second. And I've done this before too, where I have two nursing classes and we have an exam, but it's not until our second nursing class. And so I will write out first nursing class, that exam, and then class after the exam, if that makes sense. And I, again, this is, I just do it with the sticky notes so it's a better way for me to organize it. And I learned the hard way to do it this way because before I would go through each day and I would write this stuff in, which was fine, and that works out great if that's what you wanna do. But then I would bring in another class and maybe we had an exam before a nursing exam. Well, I can write it down below, but in my head, that's not how it works. I need things to be kind of in order of how they happen. I hope that that makes sense and you guys can understand what I'm talking about, but start with one class at a time and either plan the entire month with that one class and then move on to the next class and plan the month and then move on to your clinical schedule and plan the month or take one class, plan the entire semester and just the monthlies. You're gonna take, plan out February. You're gonna plan out March. Do it for the entire semester and then you take another class, do the same thing and then you come back and you got your clinical schedule you do the same thing and you get everything planned out first. And I recommend, I highly recommend you guys doing it with sticky notes just so you can organize things better whenever you actually go to write them in there in pen and you can organize them in a way that makes sense to you. So a couple of ways you can go about this. This is what it would normally look like. Now let me walk you through February of how I would do this. So first thing, I did December the other, or January the other day and I don't remember how I color coded this. Okay, nursing six is this one. Okay, so we are gonna take these little sticky notes and I just like to kind of rip them. You can rip them, you can cut them, whatever works for you. That'll be you get more bang for your buck. We'll set these two over here. Okay, so February the 4th, I actually have an exam. So we're gonna grab um, these little sticky notes. And I just kind of ripped some of that off of there. So the fourth we have nursing six. And I do that because I have two nursing classes this semester and I need to know, is this for nursing six or is this for my trends class? And this will be for nursing six. We have, um, it's an endo exam. It is from 1030 to 11. 20. That'll be on the 4th. Oh, something else to do. If you're going to do the sticky note system, please put the dates on the sticky notes. I made the mistake of not doing that one time and I started to take things off as I was using my stickers, like I said I've done, and it was a disaster. I had to go back through and replant everything. So please date your sticky notes if you're going to do it this way. Okay, so from there we've got our exam that day, but I also have class after the exam. So we're gonna do nursing six. Um, we're gonna go over, we'll just put muscle because that will be easier for me to do that muscle. And then we're gonna do, that is from 11.30 to 1.20. Boom. So we move on. I got everything from this day for this class done. Now I'll move on to the next day, which is the fifth and it's just class. And I forgot to date this. See, I tell you guys to do that and then I don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so this will be the fifth nursing six. I just put N6 just to abbreviate. And from 1030 to 120, we're going over. We'll just put the muscle down again. 
Okay, so let's say I did that for the entire month and I have my um, different exams or whatever, if classes closed, that kind of thing, I'll just do it all for one, one thing. From there, let's say I went on to do my clinical schedule, which I don't flip in half. Um, okay, I do have something here. Uh, Friday, February the 28th. And so I was doing clinicals in blue to color code everything as I plan. And this is a tentative uh, date, but we'll just put it down there. This is going to be the 28th. And I'm going to put Ayers Class Clinical. That would go right there. And see, and then I would do that for clinical, my entire clinical semester uh, schedule for the month. And then if I had my second nursing class schedule, I would put it down, which I technically do. I have the um, class times, but I don't know when exams or anything like that are because I have my schedule. I just don't know. I don't have the course calendar as far as like exams and that kind of thing goes. So I'm not going to actually put that in there anymore. I just did it here to show you guys. Now, when I take the sticky notes off, I take them off one by one and I color coordinate everything using stickers. Like I said, you do not have to do this. You can color coordinate using highlighters. And as a matter of fact, the highlighters I recommend for a planner are these mild liners. These things are phenomenal on your planner. They don't bleed. They're really super cute and they come in like a ton of different colors. I got mine from Amazon. Um, there's also these Stable, Stablo, I don't know how to say that. These ones are really good inside of your planner as well, so I like those ones, but you can use whatever you want. If you don't even want to use a highlighter and you just want to write everything in, go for it. But even if you are you don't want to do this with the sticky notes to organize things, you can just take your calendar and write things in, but I highly recommend doing it one class at a time and then moving on to the next one. And then I'm telling you within no time you'll have the entire semester planned for and it'll be done. But now if you're interested in how I do the stickers, that's where this will, um, I'll explain this process to you. But I would take, let's say, um, here's the thing too, I color coordinate based on how I decorated my spread for the month. So like I would take maybe these blue ones here and they would be for my nursing six class. And so I would take off this right here, I would pop one of these stickers, one of the blue ones in right here, and then I would write out exactly what I wrote on here. So it would be like 1030 to 120 is class, and then I would put endo because we're covering endo, and I need to know that stuff things because I, I operate out of a folder system, and if you guys wanna know what the heck I'm talking about with that, just let me know in the comments and I'll explain, I'll do a video. But um, I need to know what to put into that folder to take to class with me, because basically I don't carry binders. So I would write down endo because that's what we're covering. And so then I would just use stickers for that. I would use a specific color sticker for my trends class. I would use a specific sticker for clinicals. I'm all about color coding things so I know exactly what I'm looking for. It helps me find it better. It's just a faster way for me. Plus I love stickers. So anytime I can add stickers, that's, that's a great thing to me. So. Uh, that's my that's kind of how I do this process and again I'll sit down and do this for the entire semester I don't plan out the weeks because I mean those are on a week by week basis and that really kind of depends but like um, let me actually grab a different planner and I'll show you guys what it what the heck all this actually looks like whenever it's completely finished so you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about okay so this here was my planner from my second third semester I don't remember third semester I think so as you can see here, things are color coordinated. I can see that the blue color is psychology. The um, little plus sign here, the medical sign, whatever you wanna call it, that is for clinicals. The purple was for micro. Did I not have nursing in here? Maybe I just did due dates for this? Huh, let's look at February and see what that looks like. Oh, the purple's for nursing exams. So like nursing exam, nursing exam. So I just did exams here. So like exam, exam, exam. I had a micro exam. I had psychology stuff that was due and I wrote down my clinicals. I've actually got a little bit more in depth with it. Um, after this semester, I started putting down class times. I, I just like it better that way I can see what all's going on and I don't have to constantly think about it. So this is just an example. It looks like I actually took the colors with this one all the way through. So psych stayed blue, nursing stayed that um, darker purple, and then micro was the lighter purple. 
I also had anatomy and physiology too that that uh, semester, but our anatomy instructor, you guys, she did not know. I mean, she was a phenomenal, best instructor I think I've had. Absolutely loved her, helped so much, but um, she just kind of like exams kind of flew by the seat of her pants with it because sometimes she would take longer than expected to get through content. So I didn't write any of that in here, but that's it. You guys can see there's an example. And if you guys want, I'll show you one more real quick to give you another example of a different way to do it because I started planning a little bit differently. Okay, so this one's still a happy planner. And what I did in this one, I actually did class times and clinical times. So it looks like clinical is this purple color. Um, nursing class was this darker purple color. I had exams in yellow to make them brighter. This was personal information. The little seashells were personal information. And then same thing here. I just kind of, that's just how I plan things. It just works better for me. Here's another one where we had nursing four and nursing five. And I just... Um, put class times down so I knew the different class times for things. So totally up to you. You can do it however you want to. Whatever works for you. Doesn't matter. Oh look here I um, actually just underlined with the mild liners class times and I used stickers for exams to note those and then I still have those little clinical stickers there. November similar thing. I use these big box stickers to note HESI exams to make those a little bit different. I use flags. I mean, you guys really don't have to do it this way, like I've said, but I just love doing it this way. So here we just had finals week there and then Christmas break, which is phenomenal. And unfortunately it's over. So back to what I was saying about planning for the weeks. My biggest tip, you guys, please do this. Whatever you do, please do this. This will save you. It saved me so many times. Actually, I didn't do this once and I learned a lesson and I uh, forgot about an exam until the night before. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely horrid. I remember the stress from that. I passed the exam. I actually did really good on it, believe it or not, but I had completely forgot about one of the exams because I didn't, uh, I didn't go back into this monthly and double check. I was just trying to fly by the seat of my pants and quickly plan things out and it did not work out my benefit. My tip to you is this, get a list of everything that you have to plan for each and every single week and keep it with you. Either it stays in your planner, it stays in your phone, doesn't matter where you put it, put it on your mirror, like I don't care, put sticky notes everywhere, it doesn't matter. Make a list of everything that you have to plan for so when you sit down each week to plan for that upcoming week, you have a list already and you can go through that list so you don't forget to plan for something. Please don't not plan for an exam and then stay up the night before studying for it. That was horrible and I don't recommend it. I mean, it happens, but... So that's my biggest tip for planning each week. This is post-filming Ashley. I actually created a quick little checklist for you guys. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link down in the description box, but it's just a list of ideas of things that you have to plan for each and every single week to kind of help you keep from forgetting things. Cause listen, mom brain is a real thing and it gets way worse when you start nursing school. So I just wanted to create this list for you guys. It's totally free, links in the bio. You can check it out, download it, and then use it as a resource to help you create your own personal customized lists to systematize things so y'all aren't forgetting things like I, I am because that's a, it's a real problem that we have. Hi, this is post editing Ashley yet again. Okay, so listen, I have two downloads down below. One is for nursing students and one is for non-nursing students. The only difference between the two is that the nursing students download has a block of things to plan for for nursing school. The one that is for non-nursing students does not have that block. You can look at both of them, they're both the same, but um, I just wanted to create one separately. That way, if you weren't in nursing school, you didn't have that block kind of in the way of other blocks and that way it'd make it a little bit easier. So I have it wrote out in the description box. You can read it, just read which one um, is right for you and then download as usual. And when I sit down to plan out my weeks, yes, I use stickers. But let me give you this example here. Um, I know that based off of the monthly that I've already planned for, I have a HESI exam the second day of class, which is just bananas. HESI exam, so I've kind of got it planned out here already. I haven't wrote it in yet because I had to take pictures of my spread, but I had a HESI exam here. I know that on 
Friday I have my ER clinical so I'll just write that in here but I have a list I haven't made one for this semester but I'll make a list that has everything I need to plan for that could be clinicals it could be class times it could be exams it could be quizzes it could be your care plans when are those due homework that you have to do projects you have to do also make a list of things to plan for that are outside of nursing school so you don't forget about something there that's something else i want to talk about really quickly and then um, i'll kind of wrap things up for you guys i don't want this to be super long or super overwhelming you got planning to do so last thing i want to talk about is planning outside of nursing school you absolutely can add things into here and i do recommend doing that i used to keep two separate planners and things got really stressful and overwhelming but I would have a planner that was just for nursing and then I had a separate planner that was for family stuff and I would forget about things until last minute. So I combined everything into one planner. I mean, I have multiple planners now, but one's not even related to any of this. But I have everything inside of one planner. So once you get your nursing school stuff set up, then go back in and do you have kids? Do they have days off of school that you have to plan for? Um, for example, we have... Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day here. I know Levi doesn't have school that day, so I need to make note that my child is out of school. Um, do you have doctor's appointments that you have to plan for? Are there trips? Are there birthday parties? Are there school activities? Anything like that, make a list and have it as well. So when you are planning out your weeks, you don't accidentally forget something because it's overwhelming, you guys. There's so much going on. There's a lot of, a lot of working parts in this and it's a lot. It's a lot to take in, but if you can make systems like that to help you, systematize it, make it easier, make it to where you don't have to think as much, it'll work out faster for you and you'll forget to plan for less, if that makes sense. You'll plan for everything you need to plan for because you have those lists and because you have the system. But final words for you is to please plan for the entire semester at once. I promise it'll save you so much time because let's say you plan for January only, it comes towards the end of the week of January, it's the weekend, you're stressed out, you have exams, you're trying to study for, maybe your kids are sick, you're, you've got so much going on, but yet you don't know what the heck's happened in February and you really need to sit down and figure that out too. You don't even have to worry about it. Like, okay, that's already done. I don't have to worry about it. So plan for the entire semester at once and sit down and plan it class by class, plan it clinical schedules, plan it just one piece at a time and then move on to the next piece. So do that and then my last tip would be to make sure that you guys make those lists to systematize things so you're not forgetting to plan for things. And your, your life is different than mine. You may have things that you're planning for that are completely different than mine and that's totally okay. Just make a list for it. That'll help tremendously. So there you have it. That is the quick and dirty on how I plan for an entire semester of nursing school. I know it wasn't like me actually going through it, doing every little thing. I think you guys get the concept. You don't need me to actually sit and do that. If you do have questions though, please, whatever you do, don't hesitate to ask. Leave them in the comments section. You can um, get your butt over here to Instagram and follow me and you can also send me a message there. I'm happy to help. I'll answer any questions, but that's just kind of a quick overview of how I do things and how I take this big daunting task and I break it down to one class at a time. I break it down to one just working on just clinicals or whatever the case may be. So break it down, do it one piece at a time, but definitely plan out the entire semester. Definitely make those lists like I said, but definitely plan out the entire semester. That'll help tremendously. And thank you guys so much for watching, for supporting me, for supporting my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's go crush this semester. You're gonna do absolutely exceptional. You're gonna pass, you're gonna do great. You're gonna learn so much. You're gonna get so many great experiences. I just know it. This is going to be an awesome semester. So let's go. We got this. Just breathe, plan it out, take it one bite at a time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.